But last week's AFC Championship game, still all the rage in the sports world, and that is the topic on the first look. Chris Brees, Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor. Real simple here, Lance. Were you okay with the officiating on Sunday, just part of the game, <laughs> or do, do we have massive overhaul coming here? You, you should ask him first off. Who do you have money on? And I that, did have Cincinnati <laughs> plus one and a half. I mean, we could take out what was going on with uh, San Francisco and Philadelphia. I mean, that game was over quick. Right. Uh, I blame that on San Francisco coaching, not throwing a challenge flag on the Devontae reception, uh, the fluke of uh, Brock Purdy actually getting the UCLA torn. Uh, that game was over. But on the second game, the big calls I didn't have a problem with. The uh, roughing Pat Mahomes at the end, that was obvious. Mm -hmm. uh, the grounding, as Dunaway and I have talked about, that was pretty obvious. Um, it just seemed like there were some non-calls on some holds, uh, some blocking the backs on that final return from Sky Moore. So, I, you know, I'm not saying there was a conspiracy here to make sure Kansas City got to a Super Bowl. But there were issues. There were issues. I think there's issues week to week. But, it, again, it's like when you watch your kid play a sport, you're going to be a little more biased towards them. When you watch who you've got money on, you're going to be focused a little bit more on that. So I might be skewed in what I saw, but it really did look like Cincinnati did not get the calls that KC got. But, see, I was watching not really a fan of either one, but I sort of was hoping Kansas City would win the game. And I didn't notice – the blatant misses. Because you didn't care because you had, right. you had the, the he pot He actually on had, you had yeah. something on Kansas City. Yeah. Don't. I, I thought it was good officiating because it was going towards <laughs> the team that I wanted to win the game. What let's, about you? I mean, there were issues. Yeah. The, and, and to the NFL's credit, they come out with different rule penalty changes every once in a while. Not a whole lot, but they do it. So let's say Roger Goodell came to YouTube and said, we're looking at four things that we might change this year. But you can only pick two of them. And this is your first look this week. Okay, this is our Four first look. Four potential rule changes. And I can only pick two. You can only pick two. And if you don't agree exactly on those, the exact way it goes, you can tell me otherwise. And let me kind of go through both of those, or all four of those right now, and then we can discuss. Okay. Uh, pass interference, I think, really should be looked at in terms of how, how long it is in terms of the penalty, depending on ver the verity of how, how severe it is. Um, late hits like the Patrick Mahomes? Was it a push out of bounds? Did they get tangled up and maybe he fell awkwardly? Or did a guy absolutely drill him? Could you make a change there? How about the fumble into the end zone that goes out of the end zone that becomes a touchback? Is that fair? Do you give the offense the ball back where they fumbled? Maybe on the five, maybe on the 10. And then lastly, Lance, you, I'm glad you brought up holding. Tom Brady, did you see his comment the other day? He said that there is holding on every NFL play on one side or the other. Yeah, there's got to be. And it's, and it's a serious issue because how do you govern that is the problem. There might not be an easy fix on holding. So you have two of these four. If Goodell came to you and said, we want to change them. Do you agree with those changes? What would you change if not that something else? Well, I don't want every holding call called because it would slow down the game so much. Mm -hmm. This week I watched Kansas and Kansas State play a game where they shot 71 free throws and that's two of the best basketball teams in college basketball and it was a horrible game so i don't want to see every holding call i would like it to be very consistent in the course of the game so i'm out on the holding don't change holding for me just be more fair more consistent in what you're calling yeah i would agree with that um because as you said Brees, there's holding on every single play so it would be almost impossible to do that uh, pi is interesting for me because when we had the controversy in 2018 with the Rams and the Saints in the NFC Championship game, the NFL knee-jerked it, and they said, we're going to go to review next year. And I hated it. It lasted one year. It was terrible. But I do think it's a little extreme that we have spot files. Um, I've gotten a little used to it in the NFL, but it seems to really work to be 15 yards in college football. And you, you also pointed out it depends on the severity. As long as it's not, you know – final play of a half or a game and you're just pulling a guy down right then you could do a spot foul but i think for the majority it should be 15 yards on the vi that's why i think saying about severity of the pass interference is a great twist to this because if you're beat and you intentionally tackle a guy 
then I like Make it being a spot, a spot file, yeah. right? But if I'm just competing in a normal defensive mode and I'm not making an intentional pass interference, then that can be a 15 yard. I love that rule. That'd be number one on my change. But if I'm beat and I'm just going down, not playing the ball, and I'm tackling the guy, then make that a spot foul. Give me your thoughts on late hit first before we talk about all these, because I kind of want to link late hit and pass interference together. Well, you know, we had for a minute with the face mask, it was what the unintentional face mask was a five yard penalty and an automatic first down, and then the egregious was 15 which we've got now, it's universal. Uh, the late hit... Uh, late I, hits don't bother me, uh, Brees, I'll be honest with you. And LT... Um, I mean, that was a 15-yarder yeah. on Sunday. Now, did he Mahomes. act a little bit? Did Mahomes act a little bit flair, flailing out? Yes, so he you, did. So you think it was a 15-yarder? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I would have made yeah. that a 15-yarder. And again, uh, you know, without that, it goes to overtime, and who knows what happens. Yeah. Because if we're able to, in NFL, college football, it doesn't matter what it is, if we're able to review some things and say severity matters, five yards, 15 yards, look at roughing the punter, we same exact thing. Can we even rough a punter anymore? I don't I mean, know. But it's, you why, run into him now, it's not even a flag. Why are we able to look at yardage and determine the severity for some things, but not for others? Why not for pass interference? Say, well, you know what? You kind of held them there. That's five yards. Yeah. Now, the, the argument is, well, guys would do it all the time. Give them five yards every time. Give them first and five, first and ten, first and five, over and over and over again. You want to keep doing the penalty, do it. Why can't we look at that kind of stuff? I, I get that they, there was a big uproar about reviewing pass interference, but late hit is the one that really gets me. Why can't we, we review what happened on Mahomes? Did their feet get tangled? I think they did. Oh, did, Why, do you really? There's a, there's a camera shot from behind that okay, showed see, their feet. See, got, I haven't noticed that. That's interesting. I saw it on social media, I think, this morning. There's a camera angle from behind where Mahomes – tripped his foot up right before he got pushed why can't we review that why can't we say well he hit him he absolutely hit him late why can't we make that five yards well at least at least inside of two minutes i wouldn't mind that at all because in those final two minutes obviously more important than the majority of the game if you review something like that that is pivotal to the outcome of the game, I wouldn't have a problem with we that. We do that in college basketball where we review out of bounds, who touched it last. You do the replay late in games. You don't do that throughout the course of the game, so I would like that. The fumble in the end zone, I hear a guy we do a show with, Ryan Brown, he says that's one rule that needs to be changed. That's never bothered me as much as it does everyone else. That's a great defensive play to knock the ball loose, and if it happens to go – through the end zone pylon. Give me the ball. Let me have it at the 20. I made a heck of a play. Hold on to the ball. I, I like that. I, I disagree. Like that. I lean more on Brown, but I'm kind of in between. I don't think the offense should get the ball back. We don't know who was mm-hmm. going to ultimately get the ball with the fumble, but I think it should be more defense takes over like the three or the five yard line. You shouldn't give them the 20. Pick your two then. Um, I would you, go pick two. PI first, and I think it uh, not all are spot fouls. It depends on the severity. Would you go 15 for everything, or would you go 5 to 15 no matter? No, I would go 15 for everything outside of the egregious over the top, pull you down. Okay. Yeah. And then that would be a spot foul. foul. Spot you foul agree? I agree. That would be my number one. My number two would be fumble in the end zone, okay. and I would move it out to the three or five. Okay. Uh, my number two would be holding. And I would like to simplify the rules a little bit. I think, um, you know, we've got where you can grab in certain areas and not certain areas. I either just say grabbing is okay or can't grab at all. Make it simple for, the, for everyone. Or you, you can grab with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> or just tackle. I you, say, well, hey, let's, let's be men. No holding. Let's get rid of holding. Exactly. Get to the quarterback. You know what I find? Tom Brady wouldn't enjoy that. Uh, he's you, out now. You, you know what I find fascinating about what you guys both just said? Neither of you has an issue with late hits. And I think I know the reason why. I think fans in general, I think we subconsciously enjoy that thrill of what could have happened if the flag wasn't thrown. I really do. We can complain all we want. And no matter what you change, people are still going to be mad. You could change these. Oh, that wasn't a five-yard hold. That wasn't a 10-yard pass interference. No matter what we do, people are still going to be upset. I think we subconsciously and secretly love the fact that we're talking about this because it makes our passion that much bigger. I really do. Yeah, no, I I can see that. Me too. Another week. First look, Chris Brees, Jim Dunaway, and Lance Taylor. Guys, thanks so much.